Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so I want to do an update on the whole Travis Scott, Kylie Jenner, and Rojine Carr situation. So if you guys do not know, Rojine Carr, it's now finally out that her and Travis Scott are dating officially. And so now she's telling a whole different story. If you guys remember, I did the video a few weeks ago where she came out and said that, you know, nobody was cheating on anybody and that she just wants peace. And, you know, all this kumbaya, mush mouth bullshit, see no evil, hear no evil. Well, now she's upset because the Kardashian-Jenner clan are basically out here trying to stop her bag, okay? She goes by the name Young Sweet Row on Instagram. She's an Instagram model. And now the Kardashians are throwing shade at her and talking to major companies to not do any brand deals with her because she's now dating Travis Scott. So yesterday she went on a huge rant on Instagram, basically blasting them, talking about the things that they're doing behind the scenes to her, things that they've done to Jordan Woods. So this entire situation, honey, is a hot damn mess, but you know what? I'm here for a bitch, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what she wrote on Instagram. Go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So she goes on to say, I wish the truth would just reveal itself. It's frustrating knowing it never will be because everyone's either scared, paid off, or aware there's no way to come out victorious when dealing with these people because they have so much control in so many places, including the media and consequently the minds and pockets of the public. Then she says, but I didn't do anything wrong. Literally a victim of the internet being crazy. They blacklisted Jordan for every large company too. Look at her page and you'll see how few companies work with her. You're not alone. Then she goes on to say, not to say Jordan did anything wrong, just saying they're completely different situations. Then she also goes on to say, I'm not speaking out of spite or being salty over extra money I don't need. What I'm doing with my life is much greater than being an Instagram model for a fraudulent reality star. It's just sad to see how someone with all that money and fame is still concerned with little insignificant me, someone who's done nothing to her and have so much jealousy and envy in her heart that she'll try and block a complete stranger from doing better for themselves. This is y'all's idol, an insecure, petty, manipulative con artist. Then she also goes on to say, LOL, if you followed me for a while, you know I always speak my mind. I wasn't aware of how much influence they really have, and now that I see it firsthand, it's mind-blowing. Just the thought I'd share and open y'all's eyes to the fact that everything you see has been put through their filter. Notice the page that posted about it conveniently left out the part about how the statement previously posted was planned and written by them. Anyways, I'm out. Love and light, y'all. Honey, she is spilling all the Kardashian Jenner tea, okay? And in my personal opinion, I'm not surprised. A lot of people have said this about that clan, that if they don't like you, if you guys fall off with them, you know what I'm saying? They will get people blacklisted because they do have a lot of power now. You know what I'm saying? They have huge followings. You know, they're just, they're a huge monopoly as a family. That's why anytime people go around them, you know, have anything to do with them, you have to sign NDAs. Everything is non-disclosure. It's just insane this stuff that they are involved with I definitely believe every word of what she's saying because again Kylie wants to keep up this pristine image and now that Travis Scott has left her and he's publicly being seen with Rogine it's making her sweet image of her being this young mom having her you know fiance at the time it's made that image just basically crumble before her eyes and we know they're all about imagery and everything else and I just think it's really sad and it says a lot about what's going on behind closed doors that's why I always tell people don't idolize anybody's relationship because everything that glitters is not gold okay obviously Travis always looked miserable he was always looking down he always looked depressed he just did not look like he was really into that relationship hell he just really didn't know her you know I'm saying he was just you know having sex with her and she got pregnant and they tried to force something to work that wasn't meant to be you know like I said my thing is as long as they're co-parenting and he's taking care of his child to me that's all that matters but Kylie has no right to be mad at her especially she wasn't cheating with Travis and they just broke up and everything was applicable you know I'm saying and that's what Kylie came out and 
says, so if he didn't cheat on you with her, why are you upset? Why y'all stopping her bag? And that's the same thing that they've done to Jordan Woods as well. So, you know, they have a bit too much power, but that's just how it is in this industry. It's all about who you know and damn it, who you blow, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on everything that Rogine Carr is coming out and alleging and stating that Kylie and them are doing to her and they're trying to ruin her bag. Do you guys believe what she's saying or do you feel like she's just looking for attention? And then also, do you feel like Kylie is wrong if she's doing this to try and stop this girl's bag when she said that her and Travis broke up and everything was amicable, so why is she upset now? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Make sure you thumbs up the video and hit the notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad. So let me know your thoughts on this entire messy ass situation once again concerning Kylie Jenner, Travis Scott, and his new girlfriend, Rogine Carr. All right, deuces.